Hey kid, you gonna squat more weight? Um, yeah. You know what? You need to learn how to squat a low bar. I will teach you. Yeah, move the bar lower. Yeah, bit lower. Katagoti? Nothing. Yeah, keep going lower. Lower. Yeah, lower. Keep going. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, squat now. back to BBC Vlogs. After our last video, somebody asked why we chose high bar over low bar squats in a dev vlog. I will address that in today's vlog. But before that, consider subscribing so that we know somebody is listening on the other side. If you are new and don't know the difference between high bar or low bar, let me explain in 30 seconds. In high bar, lifter places the bar high on his straps, whereas in low bar, lifter places barber as low as possible on his rear delts. Low bar helps in providing more surface area, thus stability, and you can squat more weight with low bar placement. With low bar, you can recruit more muscle groups and you can build more muscle as compared to other squat styles. Aside from high and low bar, we have been doing SSP squats, box squats, and box squats with SSB. We were doing low bar because we love doing it. So, of course, low bar is our style. But if you have seen us squatting in our Instagram stories, you must have seen that we have been doing high bar from last 3 months. So why is that? Don't we want to squat more weight? Don't we want to build more muscle? Have we lost a trail? Well, let me clarify. We switched to high bar squats because we have been doing low bar for long as time. When you keep training with same movement, your body doesn't get the same stimulus as it used to get when you switch from high bar to low bar. So we wanted to pivot to another movement. High bar was a classic switch. Secondly, we are training in our garage. We don't have enough machines to isolate our quads. So high bar was the best option because high bar targets quad muscle more in your legs than the low bar. Another reason is fatigue. Both of us were experiencing some fatigue from the low bar. We wanted to reduce fatigue for shoulders, hips and elbows and I would say high bar does provide that comfort. You might be wondering when we will switch back to low bar now. There will be two cases for that. First case would be as soon as the competition dates come up we will start working on a program to peak for that date. And as you guys know low bar is our style so we will be switching to low bar for the competition. The second case would be if the competition is delayed and we start getting fatigue from high bar as well, we might pivot to low bar. Now you might have this question, what squat style should you follow? Um, I would say it depends. The primary objective of this channel is not to be an online guru, but to let you know our training mentality so that you can use the same if you are in a similar position. Benefits of doing low bar squat will always be more than a high bar squat. But it is you who needs to identify what you have been doing in the past and what you need to do in present or in future to keep making gains. But don't worry, I will give you advice here. What you can do is that if you have been doing a low bar for a long time, maybe it's time to switch to old school high bar or the vice versa. Or if you don't have access to perfect squat rack, maybe start doing goblet squats, front squats or high bar so that you don't lose muscle. Or if you are stuck in a home gym like us and want to focus on quads without adding any extra volume on squats, switch to high bar. Alright, I hope we made clear about our choice for high bar over low bar. Stay tuned as in next video aside from the high bar, we will show you what we use to build our quads without using any leg extension or leg curl machines. So do comment and hit like if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Till next video, peace.